This is Jungles of Mexteria by Slifker Games. In this video, we're just going to go through the menus in the pause menu area. So, we're going to go over here to start menu. And then we're going to select what we need to. A new game, Hotspot Harvey, standard number of baddies, keyboard, and no touchscreen overlay. Then we'll go to start the game, and it pops up. Now, if you have a faster computer, it would already popped up. Mine's a really old computer that I'm recording this on. Low resolution, low frame rate, all that. But this demonstration purposes is fine. So when you come out here, you have Hotspot Harvey. You can move around. You use the keyboard, the keyboard mouse, controller, touchscreen, all everything. So on this one, let's go through the menus. Um, we will come back to what I'm doing right here. If you have touch screen, that's what this is about. Uh, we will come back to that. Um, but if you go up to see the pause right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on pause. Or you can, um, using your input settings, you can click on, depending on what it is, it might be start. Right we'll start on this controller, will pop up this. Uh, or it could be back. Back pops up. Mouse button or touch it. Pause menu pops up. The market buy items, the market sell, is part of the market. You go in here if you want to uh, buy stock, buy things. You can go to market sell, and sell things. This will be in my tutorial about the interface and how to play. The sound settings, sound settings is another tutorial, but this uh, allows you to change the sound effects and the music volume. Music is turned down right now. Okay. I like that music. That's a really cool okay. um, The input settings was in a different tutorial. So you can change your uh, joystick or your keyboard. If you want to uh, leave the game, you click on this. This exit game will take you back to the uh, the desktop, go to main menu, we'll restart the game back to the main menu, which is right before the start menu. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the UI button layout, which is really the only thing we need to talk about here other than the market. Click on this, and uh, again, you can go up or down on your, on your joystick, uh, like, like so. It's not left or right, it's up or down. Using uh, the keyboard, it's up or down like this, it's not left or right. Or you can just take your mouse or your finger and point to where you want. When we return to pause menu, you come back here, the button layout is here. So for example, see this is UI button layout at the top, and over here it says UI keyboard layout. If you look at the very top of the screen, you see it has a knife and a bullet and torch and all that kind of stuff, it's like a row. This is designed to match up with a keyboard. If you click on change layout to, to joystick, you see how it's like a diamond shape, right? And then we'll move it again to the top of the screen, and you're configurable. This is to allow you, after you remap the keyboard, let's say you come over here and remap the keyboard, and you swap the knife and the bullet. Right now the knife is on key one, and the bullet is on key two, the alpha numeric one, alpha numeric two. The knife and the bullet. So when you press one, it'll be the bullet. And, and let's kind of do that. Let's make this one and make this two. So we swap the knife and the bullet. But if you go to this and put it on the keyboard, this corresponds to button one, two, three, four, five. But right now, one is the knife, but that's not what we want. This is an easy way to actually see the keyboard. So what we can do is we can. Um, we can use user configurable to uh, change it as well. So before we get into that, let's just take a look at the input settings one more time. We're going to swap this back to uh, two and this is one. So the knife is one. It's really not that confusing. <laughs> I'm just explaining it bad. I'm sorry. So let's take a look at the UI joystick layout. This is uh, right here. The knife is the X. Uh, this is on a Windows 10. The blue the X, which is 9 o'clock. This right here, the grappling hook, is the Y, the orange, on a 
this is Windows, um, Microsoft controller. This is 12 o'clock, and at 3 o'clock, the bullet. So this is the Y A, right? So you look at your joystick controller, those are the three buttons there. So A is jump, this is B, X, Y. These two here correspond to the left and right bumpers, which is where your pointy fingers are at. So the top left where your point pointy finger is, and the top right where your right pointy finger is. This is the uh, oxygen tank and the torch running the water and the ground. So, and, and this is the pause right here, which normally would be on your back, your back key. Uh, it depends on your joystick, uh, how it's labeled. So, this is just helps you, like, oh, what's the, the um, which button is the grappling hook? Well, it's the top center of the total block is the Y. Oh, which is the torch? Well, it's the one by your right, or your left pointing finger. Oh, which one's the bullet to shoot? Well, it's the, uh, the B, which is your clock. You look at the UI button, well, the UI keyboard button layout over here. This corresponds to alpha numeric one, two, three, four, and five. So if you want to uh, bring up the torch, uh, which one is it? Uh, it's number three. Right, so these correspond, this is the standard setup. So if you change it, if you come in here, input setting, you change the keyboard, it's different. Uh, the pause up here is P, so it's kind of like, that's why it's off to the side a little bit. So, and up, down, left, right, really you just want to be. So, that's um, a way to remap it, and the top of the screen is the way to a quick reference to where it's at. And you can put it any way you want, right? So, keyboard and the joystick. Now, the configurable is kind of weird right there. Now, what that's about, if you come under change item, you'll notice it goes from the bullet towards the oxygen from the hook. So, right now we're going to move the hook. And we go change slot. See the bottom left, it's change the slot. When I say use slot, look at the very top of the screen where the hook is, it's going to move to that slot. So there's what two high and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. 11. So it's twelve across and two high. So if you want, let's say right next to it, um, that we we'll change item and we'll put the pause there. Use the slot. It's right next to it. Now see this over top of it. Well, so that's why you don't want two of them right next to each other. So actually what we're going to do is we're going to change the slot one more and use that slot right there look at the top of the screen there that way at the that way if you take a look at the bottom of the screen when they have like spaces in between them you can um not overlap it that way now if you take a look at you can change the slot there and i'm going to change the item to let's say the oxygen use the slot if you take a look at the top of the screen, it's now in a V-shape. That's why it, it, it'll, it'll, if, if you want to do something a little different like that, you can. That's why it's like that. So you don't want them to overlap, but you can V-shape it. And the reason would be like this. For example, we're going to change the slot. Here, we're going to make this right here we will make this their um let's say our oxygen or our hook uh, we're gonna put a hook there and then right here we'll change the item again to let's say bullet and right here we're gonna change the item to uh torch so look at the top of the screen see i it's uh, the bullet, grappling hook, and torch, it's like in a V, upside down V. Well, that's how you could say, oh, that's 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock. So you can uh, change this user configurable uh, too high and 12 across to whatever you want. And if you don't want to do that, just go to UI joystick layout or the keyboard layout. And at the very beginning, when you at the start menu, you can uh, pick the ones you want, or you can come in here and change that. So that is the pause menu uh, minus the, uh, the market, which I will talk about in a bit in a different video.